I chose the house behind me today to talk about the Dutch colonial revival style. Now, uh, this style has a defining factor, and once you, you recognize these homes, you'll probably start seeing them all over Vallejo. The main defining factor of the Dutch colonial revival is the roof shape. Now, that roof shape is gambreled. Um, a gambrel roof is, we think of it maybe like a barn, like a barn roof is typically what that roof is. That roof can be square on the edges or it can be flared as this one is flared. It's very common in Dutch colonial revivals to have a little bit of a flare at the end of the roof. And that roof can either run the length of the structure or that roof can be interlocking as this one does. It's, it interlocks too so that it has um, uh, flat edges on the sides. Now, uh, the other kind of typical thing, and there's a great legend about these two two uh, design style ideas is that it has an overhang. It's very common in medieval structures for there to be an overhang. Uh, that overhang was often big. It was used for uh, uh, to help shelter animals or maybe the person that lived there sold bread and help shelter the merchant wh while they uh, you know keep the sun off them while they're selling their bread. In the Dutch colonial revival the story is a bit different and it's a, a great fascinating story about American history. The colony of New York before the United States would tax, heavily tax, a second story on a house. And that tax made it prohibitively expensive to put a second story on your house. So Dutch colonists in New York basically figured out a way to get around the tax. The gambled shaped roof counted as an addict and not as a second story. And the overhang didn't change the basic footprint of the house, which is where they'd be taxed for. So these people, they started building uh, houses with a smaller footprint, with a larger second story and a gambled roof, and they got around the tax. It's very American. Other defining factors of this style are both uh, shingle and clapboard, sometimes even together. And very, very, very commonly you're gonna see columns, as this one does. The porches are almost always set underneath the roof. Uh, regular colonial revivals, the porch is set outside the roof. On this one, it's correct. It's got two columns with a porch set back up underneath the roof. Um, anyway, this is the Dutch colonial revival. You'll see these all over Vallejo. My name is Chris Jacobson, the creator of Vallejo Historic Home Support. I hope to catch you for more videos.